Hello, my name is Mark, I'm the CEO of the Yogscast, and today we're going to talk about collaborations and cross-promotion. So, I mean, we've done a, a few different types of collaboration. We've, we've actually done some with kind of more traditional celebrities, and quite surprisingly, actually, our YouTube audience doesn't really care that much about them. Um, it's strange in that, that YouTube and celebrity within YouTube is, is a very different thing to the mainstream. Um, and we've actually found that by partnering up with other kind of relevant, I guess, uh, gaming celebrities and gaming channels on YouTube, um, we've done stuff with, with Ali A, they've actually been far more beneficial for us and for the other channel involved. Um, I think that's more because it's, it's relevant and YouTube's all about catering for niches and, and the gaming niche happens to be a very large one. Uh, but certainly when you if, you, if the collaboration isn't correct, it doesn't really work as well. A good collaboration is often, uh, you'll see a spike in views and then it's about retention thereafter. Often if you're working with someone else who's known for a particular type of content, that's what that audience wants. So if you're not delivering that same type of content, you may see no benefit from the collaboration. But if you do, then you may see an increased view, subscriber base, engagement, more people commenting on your videos, um, and, and greater awareness about who you are and more opportunity in the future to be discovered. When we talk about kind of wishful collaborations, um, it always comes to kind of more of the sort of content that, that we enjoy. So, you know, I, I mentioned Epic Rap Battles of History. You know, I, I love what, what Peter and Lloyd do with that. It's so fun and silly that I think those sort of opportunities for us almost that kind of wish fulfillment. Uh, when you're in a, in a kind of a position where that's available to you, I think those sorts of things, you know, they come across as, as great sort of opportunities. Um, past that, I mean, just, just stuff we enjoy, like, you know, Vsauce and stuff like that, just these really kind of clever YouTube videos that you don't see on TV. Um, I think anywhere where we could do something that's, I think, a little bit different is probably where we would find uh, a reason to collaborate. With our network, we're currently with uh, Maker Studios, which has a, a gaming vertical called Polaris, and within that there's loads of great big YouTubers. Uh, two of my favourites are Jesse Cox and Crendor, and they do uh, a lot of collaborations together, and it's just always hilarious. I think that's partly the joy if you see these just hilariously funny people interacting, um, and I think YouTube gives us the, the uh, uh, I guess, illusion almost that these people are our friends. You know, we, we listen to them every day, we know what's going on in their lives, uh, and I think it's always nice to have those funny friends um, in our lives. So I, I particularly like that. Um, equally within the Yogs cast, we have um, uh, Sips and Hat films playing together. It's always guaranteed to be fun. And it's, you, you kind of know that when you mix certain personalities together, you get that peanut butter and chocolate combination where it's these two great things that are just better together. We consume YouTube as much as our audience, if not potentially more. Uh, so we're always watching you know, fun stuff happening and we see videos that go viral and love them. Uh, but equally, we see videos that we feel should get more attention than they do. Um, I remember we, we favorited a while ago uh, a video of a guy called Lotax um, who uh, uh, runs something awful. And he did uh, this fantastic uh, kind of fake scare face cam video where he was playing a game and completely overreacting to things that weren't scary. And his general breakdown as this video progressed was just hilarious. And so when we see things that we just think, that's really funny, we wanna share that with our audience. And so we're gonna like that video or favorite that video or comment on that video um, in the hopes that they, they get a little bit more recognition as they likely deserve. Often when we, when we like a video, you'll see the, the, the very common trend in comments will be Yogscast sent me here or, or some, you know, variation on that. Uh, people like to identify as a, as a Yognor or a Yogscast fan and I think that having that sort of uh, camaraderie behind it, people like to say, hey, I'm here because of the Yogscast. Um, and uh, we, we do see that when we like and favourite and engage with other videos and creators out there. In terms of kind of tips, I guess, on a successful collaboration, it's, it's tricky because the temptation can often be to split videos across multiple episodes and have them on different channels. That can sometimes be effective if you have the first video, say, on the larger of the two channels with the second video already existing on the other channel and an annotation at the end driving people across that other channel. That can be, be useful. It really depends what you're wanting to get from the collaboration. Sometimes just featuring on that larger channel can be enough that the mobilized audience that actually cares about finding new talent 
will find their way across to your channel just by having your channel in the description or potentially on an end slate at the end of the video. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, please feel free to click to find out more or also to check out my channel.